Right, so now that you've learned how to display different kinds of invoices, enter different kinds of invoices and report on them, we're now going to look at processing a manual cash receipt. This transaction code is F-28, and remember this is a payment incoming from the customer, so a payment or cash receipt depending on your terminology. So the scenario here is we have some incoming cash or payment, and we're going to use that to clear an open accounts receivable invoice. So in this scenario, the way you could think about this is that the actual physical cash receipt has already been processed by the bank. We are now recording the payment in SAP so we can clear that customer account for that invoice. For master data, we're going to use that same customer account we've been using so far. The document type for the payment is going to be a DZ, and we're going to use this bank account here to record our cash receipt. So let's see what that looks like in SAP. So under the accounts receivable menu, we're going to go under the... Um, account menu first and we're going to display the line items just so we can display open items to see what we are trying to clear. So let's just display open items here first and let's have a look at these customer items. Remember the red um, traffic light means they're open and here's an item for $124 and it's been overdue for 123 days. So let's open up another SAP session and process a payment for that invoice. So under the accounting, financial accounting, accounts receivable menu, we're going to go to document entry, and then you'll see we have a transaction here, F-28, which is incoming payments. So let's start that transaction code. And here we enter a document date first and a posting date. And here we can enter some reference information um, to help us identify the cash receipt that's been processed from the bank. And we can um, enter any reference we want. And then we can enter some text just to make it easy. This is company code 1710 and a US dollar cash receipt. In our bank account, as I said, this is the bank account on the balance sheet to represent the debit to bank or cash. And then here in the amount section, we're actually going to enter the amount that we see that was outstanding, this 124.80. So let's pretend the customer has paid in full. So in the amount, let's enter that amount, 124.80, so we know how much is going to be charged. If you had small short payments or differences, you can use bank charges to, to write off small differences. In this case, we can assume clear payments and enter the value date which is the same date as the posting date in this case, and again, just some identifying text to help you identify the bank account row. So this is everything around the bank. Now, what you'll then see then is that for open item selection, this is where you enter the customer account. You'll see under the account type, this D here stands for customers. So what this means is that it, this box here is looking for a customer account number. So this is where we enter our customer account number for searching for open invoices. So now that we've um, got that, we can then um, process the open items. This is a document type DZ. Click process open items. And now we can see all the customer open items for that account, similar to the line item display. Now, if you look, have a look down our list here, we'll be able to find the invoice row for 124.80 with the document type RV. And we've entered 124.80. And now we want to assign an invoice. So to do that, you literally double click on the line or the amount to assign it. So when I double click on that 124.80, you'll see this assignment box will then increase. So here we've entered 124.80 against the bank. We've assigned 124.80. They're both balancing, and now we can simply post uh, to post that entry. So we're going to go ahead here and post that, and that will then clear this uh, invoice. You'll see it comes back with a document number. We can quickly display that document number by just clicking Document Display. And then here you'll see the journal where we've got our um, document number, you'll see if we look in the header, we've got a DZ for customer payment. And this is just um, our student ID here. And here we can see the debit to bank. And we can see the uh, credit to the customer account to clear off the customer account for our 124.80. So that's it. So we've now cleared the document and there's a clearing document to link them together. So what you'll see now is if I back out of that and if I now go to my line item report where this 124.80 is, if I refresh this report, if I say list refresh, you'll then now see that that 124.80 item has now disappeared from the list because it's now a cleared item. It's no longer a red open item. If I go back and I run that report once more and I say show me all items and I execute, you'll then see that if I scroll down here under the cleared items or the green rows, I've now got my DZ document type and my RB invoice and these two are matching because I've now cleared this document with that incoming payment. So that's the simple process of entering a manual payment and matching it with an invoice. And therefore, it becomes a cleared item, so you no longer have to manage those two rows anymore. So that's really the concept of open item management. And so just to confirm, if we go back to open items and I run that again, 
this list is now clear of those two items, and that's the whole concept behind open item management. Now we can just go back to the, the main menu, and um, uh, yeah, just remember that was the F-28 incoming payments, and that's the end of this lesson. So in the previous lesson, you learned how to post some cash or an incoming payment and then match that to clear an open item or invoice. The difference with this transaction, this is what you can use to match two existing open items that just need to be cleared. And this transaction code is F-32. So the scenario here is we've got two customer open items. No payment is required, but we want to keep the customer open item statement easy to manage by not listing entries that no longer need to be followed up on. So in this scenario, we have an AR invoice that was processed, but after a dispute, a credit memo was raised for the customer. So no payment or journal entries needed, but a clearing document is used to match the original invoice and the credit memo to clear the open items. So here again, we're going to use our same customer number and company code 1710. So let's see what that looks like. So the NSAP itself under accounts receivable, under the account menu, there's the F-32 clear transaction. So if you go into that, in the very top field here, this is where you enter the customer number to be able to process open items. So that's the customer number for company code 1710. But let's have a look at the line items to see what we're trying to match here. So if I look at open items for this customer right now, so I've got open items and I'll run this. This is where you can see here, I'm going to highlight here we have a credit memo here for 250 and we have an invoice for 250. So this is the original invoice, which was our, our product test invoice with a DR document type. And here we have a DG or credit memo. So these are the two documents I'm talking about that no payment is needed, but these two can be matched to clear off because the customer doesn't owe us any money because we gave him a credit. And, but these are currently still open items because they're in red. So we go back to the open item clear transaction now and we click process open items. We get the same line items we just saw, and here you'll see we can find the two documents. So here's the DG or the credit memo, the 250. So there's nothing assigned or entered. So let's double click on that 250 and you'll see the 250 has been assigned. Now let's scroll, we'll find the DR invoice, the matching one, double click on that and you'll see although it shows zero, zero here, we haven't entered any numbers, but we've matched those two invoices. Now we simply post and we get a document that's posted. But what you'll see here is if we go and display that document, there's no um, new entry. We're really just matching these two. So here we've got two customer line items. The 250s are matching off, and there's a clearing document. So let's go back and now have a look at the open item report. So we go list refresh, just a quick way to refresh the report. We will then see those two items will then disappear because now they are clear. They are no longer open items to be managed. So that's just the purpose of that transaction, so you can keep this list to only things that you need to chase up on. So we can just go back to the main menu and confirm that's the F-32 clear transaction. Again, going back to the open item concept that the idea is that you only keep items open on the customer account that you need to follow up on. Once a customer has paid or there's a credit memo or it's a write-off, then, then they get matched and cleared so you no longer have to chase those items. So it's a very simple transaction. So that's the end of that lesson.